if you've tried everything you can do to get your teenager out of bed or your preschooler out of the house on time and nothing works, we may know the person who has a solution for you. <laughs> Amy McCready is the founder of Positive Parenting Solutions and the author of If I Have to Tell You One More Time, the revolutionary program that gets your kids to learn without nagging, reminding, or yelling. It's nice to see you again. You always Thank have you. great, great, great you sure advice do. for us. Thank you so now, much. If you, if your kids have been spoiled, let's say you admit that, yes. is there a way to unring the bell or is in some cases is it too late? There definitely is, and that actually happens a lot going from summer into the school year. Mm. During the summer, we get a little bit lax in routines and responsibilities, so now it's time to unspoil. Mm -hmm. And we tend to think of spoiling as kids who are overindulged. With stuff. Right. With yeah. stuff, that's right. But it's also those kids who are overly pampered or, yeah. you know, don't take responsibility for themselves. So fortunately, there are simple things we can do to hit the reset button and unspoil them. Doesn't it come down to this entitlement attitude that is, has pervaded our entire culture? Mm -hmm. I mean, kids aren't even, they don't even say thank you for anything anymore. Mm -hmm. If you don't have an attitude of gratitude right. to begin with, how are you going to have a, a good attitude about anything else? Mm -hmm. That's right, and that comes down to training. You know, mm -hmm. our, when we talk about discipline, parents tend to think of consequences and that sort of thing. Sure. But discipline really comes from the Latin root disciples, or disciple, which is to teach or to train. And yeah. so part of being a good parent is training our kids to be gracious and behave in appropriate ways and all those things that we want them to do when they're adults. So let's pretend everyone's been lax over the summer yeah. and it is time to get back on the horse. So mm -hmm. what are some things parents can do to try to uh, rediscipline their children? Well, there are 23 tools in the book, but mm -hmm. one of the tools that I share with parents is called Make Routines the Boss. Mm -hmm. So you want to look at those times in your day where you're doing a lot of nagging, reminding, and yelling. Mm -hmm. Those mornings the, come to mornings, mind. Mornings, yeah. yes, bedtime. bedtime. So take a look at those routines, and you want to create a good when-then routine. So when the yucky stuff is done, then the fun stuff comes. So in mm -hmm. the morning, when you get a reward. Right. Well, it's kind of like when your bed is made, you're dressed, your backpack and lunchbox are by the door, you've had breakfast, then you can play or Right. Yeah. Listen to your iPod, whatever. Right. But that way, the routine becomes the boss. You do it the same way every single day, and mom doesn't have to be the boss. Right. And they get used to it. And you know, exactly. I think they like it. They yeah, do. they like they, to they, have, At yeah. first, they will throw fits, but they kids want to have limits. They mm. truly yes. do. And they thrive on routine and consistency. Mm -hmm. And when we get into trouble is when we get off of those routines. Oh, yeah. That's the hardest thing for parents is to be yeah. consistent and to agree with one another yeah. to be consistent. Yeah. That's right. That's and right. what about, I mean, we, you're not talking about material things, but that also is a way that a lot of parents are spoiling their children. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, giving them too many things. Yep. And, you know, so we really want to be careful of yeah. that. That's you because know? they feel like they're giving them so little of themselves right. time-wise. Don't you right. think it's like, it's like guilt? Sometimes the guilt does play yeah. into it. And one of the things we tend to do when we're feeling guilty is we tend to over pamper. So mm -hmm. I call it, you know, avoid special service. That's doing things for your kids that they are really perfectly capable right. of doing, doing for, themselves. for themselves. And should be doing for That's themselves. right. We do them a disservice yeah. when we do that. I've been relaxing that. Yeah. 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 Other than that, they're perfect. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Thanks. Always Thank you.